How, how has uh, Corcoran come back just from the injury, and, and what have you seen from him early on? Again? You know, um, the more you, you're around him, I mean, he's just an unbelievable teammate. You know, um, understanding what he's coming back to, right? Him and Teddy are um, competing for that spot, and um, they work together every day. It's like they're best of friends. You know, usually you compete and you're like, you know, trying to, I don't know, but th those guys, they work together every day and they push each other and help each other, right? It's not like, um, and he just attacks everything. You know, his mindset, since I got here, you know, has been unbelievable. Oh yeah, it's um, open dialogue for us. You know, um, I, I, you know, push them to help each other, coach each other up um, in the meetings. You know, I don't care if they speak up. I love that. You know, and it just helps each other uh, um, build the the brotherhood even tighter and tighter. So um, everybody's coaching everybody. You know, it's just not one voice, and uh, I think that helps the room grow and grow and grow. So. Hey, coach, this is your Um, you know, just experience, you know. From a physical development standpoint, I mean, what did you think of the work your guys did over the off season with, with, with Coach Campbell and strength room? Uh, they did a great job. Are they where you want them to be at physically? Oh, absolutely. Coach, how have you seen Dylan kind of get the hang of living out here and, uh, you know, getting comfortable in this, this program? Dylan, he's done a great job. He's, uh, um, you know, he's just one of the guys. You know, he's just working to improve every day. Um, holds himself to a high standard. Um, and, you know, like what he says is really who he is. He loves it. When did you know, kind of growing up around Dylan, when did you know that he could be doing what he's doing? When he was two years old. Uh, it was funny, you know, uh, got back home from one of Dom's games and Sunday night football was on. He could hardly say mom and dad and we're watching, uh, you know, the Patriots are playing and he's sitting there jumping around the couch and he looks up, he's like, Tom Brady. I was like, what? You know, it was kind of unique. I was like, wait, hold on, that's crazy. How do you know who Tom Brady is, you know, but that was pretty cool. Hey, Coach, what's it, what's it been like seeing Preston Tom come over? What, what are the initial reactions from him? It's awesome, man. You know, it's always good to have people from your homeland um, with you. Um, and uh, it's just a work in progress, like everybody else. Uh, and he's working hard at it. Uh, he takes a lot of pride in who he is and where he's from and his culture, you know, and that's just how Polynesians are, right? So, um, you know, it's fun being around a guy like that. When you were recruiting him, what, what kind of stood out the, the most with him? Uh, just his humble confidence, um, you know, Knowing, being from there, right, understanding the culture, um, you watch him play and there's a natural toughness, but he doesn't come off like that, right? So humble and quiet and respectful and, um, you know, just, you know, it's a day by day improvement, right? And just really focusing on one thing at a time, improvement and one better. For this stage of the game, how far along is Gibson Pyle just knowing he played a high level in Texas, got here early? Where, where's he at, guys? Um, you know, Gibby and Bricks have been very impressive, you know, from the time they got here. Uh, just the work that they've put in, and you've seen a huge growth from their first day here, spring ball, to now. Um, so it's super exciting, you know. Where is Micah? Micah's, Micah's done a great job just – you know, becoming a, just part of the, you know, the brotherhood, right? Um, it's hard, right? You come from somewhere else, you know, um, it's, you're around different people. But um, just being one of the guys and um, just improving every day, you know, everything. How do you coach this group, Donovan, considering some of, the, some of the guys you have played a lot of football and you have some of these new guys like uh, Tyler and Brits, like you just mentioned. So how do you individually, you know, manage a, a group that has such a range and experience and age? Oh, um, just... You know, the standard is the standard, right? Um, it don't change. Um, you know, it could be Ben one day, it could be uh, Jake Peters the next day. But if you're not up to the standard, everybody's going to get coached the same.
Um, but it's fun, you know, having older guys helping the younger guys. And that's what the best part about it is just the brotherhood in the room. And it spreads out to the team. And, uh, you know, just have, you know, I've been around a group like this before. And, uh, you know, it's just exciting. <clears throat> Good day. Yeah.